what is going on guys it is friday night it is payday so it's a good friday and i am rolling on my carbon rims so i picked it up yesterday and so i dropped off my bike yesterday let's put it that way took home my original rims you know the one original that actually came on the bike and the one Alex rim that you guys said was trash, which is fine. I actually have another Alex rim on the Giordano that I barely used and it's out around. So, you know, I, I, I'm going to be with you on that one. The Alex rim isn't great. So, rocking Giants SLR2 carbon fiber rims. These are amazing. Breaking power is amazing too. I got some new, uh, that's this guy here. Started turning the wheel. Why is he turning the wheel so aggressively? See you turning? No, he's just getting into the traffic. I thought he was you turning. He had all that space to pull up, right? Anyway, giant SLR2. Really, really nice. I like them. I only I barely got to ride with them last so I dropped off my bike yesterday came back home they contacted me like hey your bike is done so I go to the bike shop to go pick it up of course my camera died so I really wanted a real um, first ride I wanted to do a first ride so I guess this is a second ride you know but yesterday I only got like a couple miles in with the bike, maybe four-ish. Oh, so you guys know the components on this is pretty much 105 straight through, except for the rear cassette now that is SRAM. Um, they didn't have a 105 1132, they only had 1128, I believe. So I, I still like the 1132, I like the granny gears. I know you guys probably made fun of me for that, but that's a-okay with me. I, I love how this sounds when you're coasting. Everyone looks at you, which is not the best thing, but I don't know. On a nice hot summer day, yes you want everyone looking at you. See, if bikes were like cars, everyone would be admiring me right now. Bike is red, of course, so that always gives attention. Everyone knows red is the fastest color. But anyway, on my ride home from the bike shop, I was having some shifting issues. And I messed around with the bike for a little bit today, last night and this morning. I think I kind of got the shifting good now. Uh, the bike shop is literally one block ahead of us right now. And I could stop in and let them look at it. What I want to do is actually just go on this ride today, get a feel for it, and if it's still bad, I'll bring it back to them and have them look at it. But I think I got it. Got it good enough, I would say. So if you guys have been watching this channel since May, you know, I picked up this bike in May, May 1st. I've had rim issues like every day since then. And uh, my rear rim, I, I made a video just what two weeks ago or so. My rear rim, the hub on the rear, completely shot. No turn signal or anything, but anyway, um, the rear was completely shot. My carbon fiber bike became a carbon fiber fixie. I couldn't even coast, it was pretty crazy. It was, less, it was just locking up on me. And the front rim had this pesky ticking noise. Like once I got out the saddle and I was putting some power through, you know, getting a little aggressive, the front would just tick a lot. I had a few broken spokes on the front and the back. I've, I've gone to that bike shop many, many times over rim spoke issues. And hopefully that's all eradicated now because these rims are too damn expensive for those problems. So these rims are tubeless ready. You guys already know I ain't doing that tubeless stuff. How would I look with the tubeless uh, sealant exploding all over my face? I've been there, it's not fun. 
that's not a good look either. So first thoughts on these on these rims. So the rims are pretty good. Obviously the carbon fiber, they're lighter, they're faster. Going uphill, you can really tell that these rims are better quality. You're not fighting as hard to get the bike up the hill, especially in the winter time. Winter is just hard. It's just the bike doesn't work. Look at this guy wearing shorts. So it's 44 degrees right now. Anyway, um, you know, winter is, is harder to, in my opinion, it's harder to ride in the winter than the summer. The air is just so dense. You're working way, way harder. Right now, it feels so easy to ride this bike. It is just so, so easy. I wish I had a watt meter on here so we could do the uh, whole watt per kilo and look at my speed and all that good stuff before and after kind of deal. Before the rims, after the rims. So the rims feel good, it feels very nimble, it feels kind of light in the front actually. I don't know if that's because the rims are lighter or because I have less grip right now because I'm running new Gator Skins, brand spanking new out the pack. Gator Skin Tigers pro tires, Tigers, excuse The Gator Skin tires probably have right now maybe eight miles on them. I mean, barely anything. And it takes a while to wear them in. Now that I'm a bit lighter, I can imagine they take even longer to wear in. I had the seam on my front tire when I first got this bike for the longest time. I mean, it was, it was kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm liking the rim so far, eight miles in about, and pretty good. Only problem with the rims, and it's not the rims themselves, it's the SRAM cassette in the back. I had to really work to get that going. And when it comes to maintenance on a bike, I am not your guy. That's why I take it to the big boys at Ride Brooklyn, Yay! and I let them handle this. So today is January 22nd, I believe or 20, yeah, 22nd. I bought, I picked up the bike May 1st. Within the first year, I get a free tune-up of the bike. So I'm gonna, definitely gonna bring my bike in before May 1st, probably in March, before like the store gets all crazy. I wanna do it before, I wanna do it after all the snow is gone. If we get snow, I mean, look at this, a guy here. No time to about nothing. If we get snow, because, I mean, we, we passed Dr. King Day. Usually when she had Dr. King Day, you get these crazy, crazy cold weather, you know, crazy, crazy cold temperatures. And that has not happened yet. We had a few cold days, but usually you could get down into the teens pretty easily. Your, your bike is just a coat rack for a few weeks. I'm not that extreme, you know, I mean, I ain't going to be out here in 20 degree weather. Right now it is... 42-ish, 43 according to the Brighton. So you know with uh, carbon fiber rims, you need the brake pads to go with them. And these brake pads are really, really grippy. This is quite crazy. Like I'm barely pushing right now. I got a bit of a headwind doing 18 miles an hour. Crazy, 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 crazy. I was thinking about something, seeing how the sun sets in the west. Why don't we go to Chambers Street and 
run down the West Side Pass. It's crazy how fast this bike gets, man. So this is the West Side Highway here. West Side Bike Path is on the other side of this. So normally I would just make the left on the bike path, but today we're gonna go straight and ride right up against the water. Ah, this is nice. Statue of Liberty, yeah, if you can't see it on the GoPro, but. Allegedly, I'm supposed to dismount, but we'll just look over here real quick. So Wolf of Wall Street is a scene where DiCaprio's character, uh, Belford, comes onto a yacht with a helicopter on top of it. It is actually right there. That's where it's parked. And I have seen that yacht and helicopter in person many, many times, but I never watched the movie, so I never knew that was in the movie until just a couple weeks ago. Oh shit, this bike is crazy fast, man. <laughs> it's not that hard to get up to speed, man. <laughs> this is nuts. I'm gonna have to get used to this. I'm used to working hard on my bike with those old rims. Doing 25 miles an hour, the chest coasting, man. Crazy, man. I'm afraid to go faster. Shit is crazy. Here we go. So there we go, that's the bike. New rims, giant SLR 2s. Pretty nice, I like it. I think this bike looks better with these rims on it actually. It looks by far more aggressive. Let's turn off these lights real quick. Oh, we got a helicopter flying over us. Turn off the lights for a quick second. I mean, look at that, man, that looks really great. Actually, let's turn it around, see the new SRAM. put it in the corner. I've taken this picture a thousand times, but today would be a thousand and one. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. Looks really, really nice. Really liking this bike, man. I think I got the shifting issue sorted out, so I'm not going to touch anything back there. I'm going to just leave it alone. Really nice. Uh, Skyline, Empire State, Freedom Tower, Williamsburg Bridge, Manhattan and Brooklyn down that way. Queensboro slash 59th Street slash Ed Koch Bridge up that way. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Sub to the channel if you like. Like the video if you like this one. Let me know what you think about these rims. Cost me a pretty penny. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to uh, turn on the notification bells. Follow me on Instagram. I'll check you guys later.